Welcome to Chasing Chunks TV and welcome to my first video blog of 2022. My adventures today brings me to the superb Boathouse Fishery which is located probably about five minutes out from Bridge North in Shropshire and it's set in such a beautiful location. I'm currently in the Bailey Swim which I'm going to be fishing for the next 48 hours and not only have I got that superb view of the lake we've got the peace and tranquility of being in the middle of uh, Shropshire countryside we've got these uh, pine trees behind us and you can hear all the birds singing and I'm definitely going to be enjoying the next 48 hours fishing down here now this place has been very well documented before me we've had the likes of Chris uh, Carp King 71 come down here and do some video blogs also Moza, Alan Blair, there's quite a few anglers before me that's come and fished down here and uh, also showing off the lake but hopefully I can give my intake as well and uh, yeah so far it is very very impressive so there's another couple of anglers coming on uh, the boat on the coot swim and I think a couple of the swims on the opposite bank I've decided well I've booked the bailiff swim so this uh, little bit of paradise gives me a lot of water to go at and uh, the bailiff like he does with everybody has given me a couple of uh, spots to fish and uh, put a couple of rigs and uh, you know I'm gonna go through my tactics I've already done a lot of research on this water from guys that have been here before me I've spoken to all the people that have fished it as everybody should do and if you ever go out to a um, day ticket water get tapping on YouTube and uh, learn the lake before you come out because it makes it a little bit more easier when you actually get here because obviously you, you, you know what you're doing beforehand and uh, every little bit of advice will always help you into your session so yeah next 48 hours uh, we've got high winds coming in got good temperatures weather conditions are absolute pucker to be fair so we'll see what I can do and see whether I can uh, catch one so hopefully you enjoy this video blog and uh, I'm gonna get my barra get round here and definitely relax into the session and enjoy every minute of it so onwards and onwards let's go and catch some chunks bye bye
So you join me at one o'clock. I've managed to put my rods out and I managed to do it without getting too wet from this wind and rain that's pushing through. Thanks to these tree canopy above me, it's managed to protect me while I've been getting these rods out. Now, a little bit of a development is the three guys that was due to come on. Unfortunately, they cancelled and have allowed me and the bailiff who's fishing over in the doubles to fish three rods. So there's just me and him on at the moment. And a lot of people would think that that would be an advantage, but sometimes it can be a disadvantage. So I'm a little bit like that at the moment, whether it's going to pay off with having less pressure or then fish are just going to be moving off into areas that, that we're not fishing. I'm keeping my eye on the lake and uh, when I can get out here, I'm just working into the session, seeing what these fish are doing and I'll make changes accordingly. I've never fished this before, I've only gone on with what the bailiffs told me, what I've learned on the uh, social media. And uh, yeah, with that, that's the tactics I'm, I'm going with. But saying that, this left hand rod, I've seen a fish roll in the sort of area where I cast. And the middle rod ain't far off, a couple of rod lengths off. So that was very encouraging when I seen that fish. And hopefully, you know, that them will come good into the session. The far right hand rod has just been tucked down into the margin down to my right and for now I'm uh, basically just going to be uh, sheltering from the wind and rain and seeing whether we get a pick up today we are chancing it a little bit you know so early on but uh, things happen like that and you know if your rods are out there there's always a chance that you can get an early bite but at the moment bivvy's up I'm going to have me some food, get the kettle on and just relax into the session. As you can see out here, it's pretty bad. So, yeah, I'm going to retreat into the bivvy. I've always said there's two things that will destroy a video blog. One is wind, two is rain and we've got plenty of it this weekend. But I'm going to try and do my best to Keep filming, keep you know, keep uh, the video blog rolling. Come wind or rain or blank, this video is going out. So until later, guys. Turn off for now. official Tosh is back in the game six months away and my first carp is a stunning stunning common so let's get this fish out and uh, let's get some graphs and get this rod back out fishing nice result Well, the first one of 2022 for me. Not the biggest of carp, but it's a start. There you go. Little double, but uh, more than welcome for the time that I've been here. Come on a little dumbbell wafter, a couple of maggots tipped off, just down in the margin, beautiful. Alright, let's get this back because I want to get this rod back out and see whether we can top, top up on another capture.
fish, bash, bosh. Right, so I'm just making up some kebab sticks for my dinner tonight. Uh, it's just gone half past four. No, it's actually gone half past five. So it's probably been about four hours that I've been inside the bivvy since I've had that fish. Um, I had a little chat with the bailiff earlier on Facebook. He said he's been seeing fish down to the left hand side in coots. That's obviously because no anglers down there. Um, so that might be an option tomorrow to just take a sneaky rod down there and just put a rod out for a couple of hours if nothing's happening down here. Don't think I'm going to uh, move two of my rods which are out on a uh, solid bag and the chod targeting them weed beds. Um, just my bringing that um, a solid bag which is down the margin that done the fish earlier uh, just because I just didn't look where it landed I was just in a rush trying to get it out because of the uh, rain so yeah I uh, wasn't best pleased where it went right so I'm going to have me some dinner and I'll update the video I'll blog a little bit later and no doubt it will still be raining Well guys, as you can see, the light is fading pretty quick. Absolute awful day for doing any sort of videoing or vlogging. I've basically been sitting in this BV for hours upon hours with that drumming sound on my BV. But we managed to catch one, we managed to get one, and uh, it's, we've got to take that as a positive. So. My rods haven't been touched, so I've decided not to touch them this uh, this evening. And all I just did was just top up and put a little bit of bait over each spot again. And um, yeah, uh, we'll leave it at that. Uh, apparently this place doesn't do night bites, so I'm going to uh, get in the bivvy, get my head down and get a good night's sleep. Get up first thing in the morning and uh, hopefully, you know, enjoy the morning together with you guys. A lot of the fish have been showing down to this right hand side in coots. Obviously, no anglers down there, no pressure, they can sit down there. So, maybe in the morning or sometime tomorrow, I can get, take a single rod, put a solid bag out there, try and chance and get the boys out of that swim. But at the moment, I'm still confident that them fish are going to push up in front of these reed beds in the morning and uh, hopefully we can catch another one for this video blog but for now hopefully i'll see you uh in the morning or maybe just maybe on the night you never know so for now good night guys
eventful night last night, which is expected when the bailiff and everybody else I spoke to have told me they don't really do night bites. So I wasn't expecting to be uh, woken up during the night with a one toner, but uh, this morning I'm told is a good time to be uh, expecting a bite on air. Seen a couple of fish this morning, uh, more towards the opposite bank um, over on the margins, but uh, at least they're out there and it's nice to see a little bit of feedback from the lake as in regards to fish. Uh, as I said yesterday, there's fish rolling down to the left hand side. I didn't personally see them because I obviously I was in the business for most of it, but the guy who is on, or should I say the bailiff who is on the double swim. Uh, you can see right down the, that side of the lake and uh, we were just having a little bit of a message yesterday and just told me that they'd been down there showing till around about half five last night. So my eyes are fixed down there today and with the better weather conditions that we're not expecting rain today. Um, there's another one. Again, over on that opposite margin. Um, with better, better weather conditions today, you know, I can get a little bit more active. I can get out and start looking and start, you know, start making changes as in regards to catching fish. I know I caught one yesterday, but um, I would like a few more if possible and something with a bigger stamp behind it. So I'm going to chill out into this. Uh, morning session and uh, I will pick the camera up a little bit later so for now time for another drink Well, you wait all day for a bite, and one comes, and unfortunately, I've lost it. Really, really funny take. Come on this left-hand rod, as you've probably seen, uh, but I watched the bobbin just go up and down. I had a little bit of a indication on the alarm, just two bleeps, so that's what got me looking out the BV. And I just watched it just go up and down, settle down, uh, went back in, and looked back out, and it was right at the top of the uh, butt section and it was just starting to click off on the reel so struck into it as you've seen pulled in just give it a little bit of tension and unfortunately we pulled through it but rods back out let's hope we can replicate that in the uh, next couple of hours that we've got left or through the night but it'll probably be in the morning so i won't update the video blog again as you can see 
uh, the um, lights going I can just feel a little bit of uh, rain in the air as well which is predicted to be honest with you so we've got a rough night again tonight so good night guys and uh, I'll see you either during the night or first thing in the morning off around about 10 o'clock but plenty of time from first light onwards so good night guys morning looking like a dark Sith I am literally froze this morning um, got absolutely battered again last night thankfully I brought my uh, Titan T1 which in all honesty is an amazing buffet for this sort of thing um, it just uh, it just stood up to the direct wind pushing in last night and torrential rain but I stayed nice and toasty in there and uh, yeah testament to a superb bivvy but um, obviously nothing happened last night got up this morning uh, with torrential rain I thought oh gosh I'm going to have a pack down in the rain and it's most likely going to be looking like that as well when I pack up a little bit later on I'm going to go around about half 10, 11 o'clock uh, and uh, yeah have a pack down and get off to the car because literally I have been battered haven't I for the past uh, 40 hours and um, though it's been really enjoyable for my first trip out you know it's uh, definitely can't get any worse for any other trips that, that I, I do as it regards for my vlogging I definitely love it here it's so so lovely I mean the, the just being out, in, out here in the Shropshire countryside lovely and quiet and uh, luckily we only had a couple of on and then other guys cancelled so yeah it's been a very very pleasurable uh, session down here and we haven't we're not going on blanking are we so maybe I think more anglers would have bounced fish around definitely uh, because they've been able to sit out of places where we've not been fishing but you know I've caught one lost one last night well yesterday evening and we've still got time this morning to catch one so I'm going to uh, start to have a slide pack down start to get things loaded onto the barra get a little bit organized and clean up the shit that I've created for the past session so catch you later guys Unfortunately, I couldn't take any more of that wind hacking into that swim. Not seeing any fish this morning and rain predicted within the hour. I decided just to end the session early. I've had 48 hours of wind and rain hacking into the swim. It's made everything a little bit more difficult. 
not too sure whether the v blog will come out i've got to go home have a look at the footage and see what sort of footage i got when i was out the bv but most of it was spent inside the bv sheltering from the wind and rain but i've had my first fish 2022 which is an absolute result and let's be honest it can only get better from here so if you like these sort of videos i know it's going to be a crap v blog but hit the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and uh, hopefully we'll have a better one next time so it's a bish bash bosh keep it tosh wet nets tight lines see you on my next video and thank you for watching bye bye